Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I wanted to show you my project for Muriel who is Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. If you were the first five people to respond to a post she made with a birthday countdown calendar, she sent you one of these IKEA frames for you to alter in some way as a countdown calendar whether it be for birthdays which is what hers was for and I originally decided I was going to do a Christmas one and I got working on it and I was having so much fun I thought wouldn't this be great if she could do this for other holidays so the snowflakes that you see here are hooked on with a magnetic strip and all she'll have to do is take them off and I lined them up so what you see on the front is also on the back and I lined um, made it so when I put the other pages on the back which I'll show you these these are the other pages they're identical to the ones on the front they're all they've all got different little images you know I'm not going to show you every one of them but this one has snowmen at the top we've got bells we've got a little teddy bear sled riding down the four um, a little gingerbread house a little girl a little elf a wreath and then it ends the last day with Santa and so on the she teaches two classes so on the front will be for her morning class and then the back will be for the afternoon class I turned it in to essentially like a post-it note by using my um, removable adhesive and so each day the kids will get to rip off one of the pages and she has the master to the program I printed her out a copy of it so all she has to do is you know next Christmas run off another set of them it takes just a couple minutes to cut them out on the printer and she's ready for another Christmas countdown calendar but we, I got to doing it and I thought wouldn't it be neat if she could do this for other holidays so again that's why I went with the magnetic strip she can take the snowflakes off put in say a pumpkin to count down to Thanksgiving um, put on a bunny to count down to Easter and the paper slides right out she can change it out it's just cut into a four by six size and uh, so she won't have any trouble you know changing it and then when she's ready um, I'll just whip up another set of numbers on my program and this program I have oh my golly I bought it when I got my very first computer and it's a print artist program um, which I paid like ten dollars for when I, when it when I bought it so I mean it's old but that thing works amazing and so when she's ready to do Easter I'll whip up a set of numbers put the paper in the mail to her and she just cuts them out and she's ready for Easter or Thanksgiving or you know whatever holiday she wants you know Valentine's but I was so excited with, and I love Christmas so I went with my original idea which was to do Christmas and again so this these will go on the back and I just I stuck them together with the removable adhesive and then I used um, my um, score tape on the back of the last page to hold them all up there so they should be very good and then she can use some goo gone or whatever to take off the adhesive from you know the um, the score tape and put fresh on so it still looks nice when she's ready to do her different holidays so Muriel I hope you like this I hope you like my idea I, I know it's a little plainer more plain than what I had wanted but with children being the ones who are going to be touching it and tearing off the pages I figured it was better idea to go with simple than anything they could get dirty and <laughs> they couldn't be washed off or replaced so and those snowflakes are from the spellbinders snowflakes that my friend Anna gave me 
so they were real easy to cut out and you know you can cut out anything you want on your Cricut and you know make them you know do a snowman or Santa Claus or whatever even some punch art would be beautiful there so but I just went with snowflakes because it has um, snowflakes on the paper so I hope you all like it let me know what you think thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting bye